Somebody bless him, bless him. Hallelujah, God. Thank you, we bless Lord. your name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We lift you up above all things. Hallelujah. Glory to your name tonight. Hallelujah. Come on, let God hear your voice tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you. Come on, let him hear your voice tonight. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, God. Glory to your we name. bless you, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 and just thank him for this day. Thank him for his grace and his mercy. God, his loving kindness. His faithfulness. The blessings, the miracles just on today. Hallelujah. Line of Judas said. Your name. your name. Let it be known. Let it be known. You are the king. You are the king. The king. Prince of peace. The prince of peace. May your kingdoms reign. May your kingdoms reign. Never see. Oh, 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 oh,
Place to lift your hands to him. Come on. Open up your mouth and let God hear your voice. Come on, tell him something. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, I thank you, God. Your goodness, your grace, and your mercy, God. Thank you for your goodness. Grace and your mercy, God, for you are, you are, you are. Can you lift your hands to Him? Tell Him, you are, you are, you are. Hallelujah! My peace, my joy, you are, you are, you are, you are. My protector. And provider, you are. You are, you are, you are. Uh, the rose of Sharon, the bright and morning star. You are, you are, you are. Uh, the God that healed it, the God that performed miracles. You are, you are, you are. Oh, yes, you are. You are. God, awesome God, you are, you are, you are, you are. Now take a few moments out to lift your hands to him and tell him what he's been to you. Come on, tell him. Come on, speak to your Savior. Speak to your healer. Speak to your provider. Let him hear how thankful, how grateful you are. Oh God. Oh God. Oh. Mm -hmm. You supplied my every need, God. Oh God. You supplied my every need, God. If that's your testimony, I dare you lift your hands and tell them. You supplied my every need, God. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You supplied my every need, God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Oh. For oh, you are, you are, you are. Come on, help me say. You are, you are, you are, you are. You are, you are, you are, you are. Yes. Mm, you are, you are. You are, you are, you are, you are, you are. Lion of Judah said, Lion. Lion of Judah, 
shout your name. I shout your name. Let it be known. Then you are the king. Oh, Prince of Peace. May your kingdom reign. Never cease. Never oh, that's a good place. Come on, put your hands together. Come on, I dare you to put your hands together right there. Can anybody bless him like he's blessed you? Come on, give him a praise in your hand. Somebody open up your mouth. Oh. to worship him. Come on, this is harvest time. Come on, this is harvest time. I dare you to sow your seed of praise. Sow a seed of worship. It's harvest time. Oh. Come on, sow a seed. Sow your seed. Hey, hallelujah. We bless your name, God. Wonderful. Come on, let God hear your voice. Cry out and worship to him. Oh. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, set the atmosphere. Hallelujah, set the atmosphere. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hey, miracle signs and wonders. Miracle signs and wonders. Miracle signs and wonders. Yeah. Miracle signs and wonders. Oh, bless this name. Come on, you ain't got to stop right there. Go ahead, just put your hands together. Give God praise for the praise team. Give God praise for his presence tonight. God, we thank you. We bless you, God. We bless you. We honor you tonight. Hallelujah. How many of you are glad to be in the house of the Lord on tonight? Not only is it, amen, a blessed weekend, amen, but it's our first Saturday, our first day of the 52 days of restoration. Hallelujah. We bless the name of the Lord tonight. 
to be in his presence and to be here among his people. We invite all of our family and friends that are watching online tonight. Pray, amen, that you've set your schedule, amen, that you've set your heart and get your heart right, amen, and ready to receive from the Lord over the next month, amen, the next 52 days, we're going to be embracing and engaging the spirit of the Lord here at the Potter's House Dayton International Ministries. And tonight is our kickoff night, amen, for our 52 days of restoration, a miraculous move of God in unprecedented times. Come on, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. Oh, yeah, bless his name tonight, amen. We're looking, amen, to be blessed of the Lord. One of our very own, our dear brother, Minister Willie Taylor will be charged, amen, tonight. He's going to be bringing the message on us to us tonight, the word of God. We're believing God, amen, to speak through him and to use him for his glory tonight. But we pray over the next 52, 51 days that the Spirit of the Lord will have his way in this house and among his people. We're just believing, amen, that we present unto the Lord our very best. One of the things that we've been working on and praying about here at the Potter Town, amen, is growing in truth and walking, amen, in our best life, amen. What is our best life? Amen, just wanting to do better. We believe, amen, that these 52 days of restoration will bring us close each time we're able to gather together and join the presence of the Lord here at the house, prayer, and fact that God will do just what he said he'll do in and through our life. Can you say amen? amen? I believe, amen, if we want to project a vision that take our church to a new area, a new dimension of growth, both numerically and spiritually, I believe, amen, that we need to continue to hear from God. We're going to have to get, get those that are, God has called, calling, calling for us to reach for our services through the preach word of the gospel of Christ, through evangelism, service, rendered unto the Lord, community. I believe, amen, that together in unity and in love, by way of the Holy Spirit, that God's going to present himself strong and mighty in the house of God. Amen. I do believe, amen, that souls will be won for Christ, that lives are going to be changed and impacted in a real and sure way. Hallelujah. We are the Potter's House Dayton International Ministries, and I declare this morning, this evening, amen, that we are strong in the Lord. Can you say amen? Yeah, I said we're strong in the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. And I believe, amen, in this season of these next 52, 52 days that God is calling us to have an understanding and uh, know the call that he's calling for us as we embark on new projects, new ideas, new thoughts, new ways, new methods, new strategies to draw God's people to the house of God. Not only to draw them here, amen, to feed them, nourish them, strengthen them in the things of God, in the word of God. That people, amen, will make decisions daily in their lives to trust the Lord. I believe as we head into this 2023 season, amen, this is the last quarter of 2022, I believe, Elder, that as we enter into this season, of the new season of 2023, that God is calling on us, amen, to continue growing in truth. Come on, Holy Ghost. Continue growing in truth. And I believe that this great purpose that God has set on this house over these next 52 days of restoration will to be the praise of God's glory we can see his grace upon those that God is expecting to receive and to be 
endued with his power over these next two days. And we're expecting a mighty move of God, not only in the house life, but in the lives of those that God will bring through these doors. We thank God tonight. Ephesians 1 and 6 verse, and verse 12 said this to us. To the praise of the glory of the grace wherein he hath made us accepted in the beloved. We should be to the praise of his glory who first trusted in Christ. That's our goal tonight. That's our mission for these 52 days. Is to give God praise and to give him glory. And that this glory continues to occur every time we come together in the house of God. We'll be conformed to his image. We'll be serving souls and making them like Christ, making disciples for Jesus Christ. And that's the miraculous power of God, amen, that one of the things that God does, that every time a soul is won to Jesus Christ, it is a miraculous move of God. And I believe, amen, if we continue on this path, amen, of seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, that all other things that be added unto us. And I believe, saints of God, that we'll see the mighty hand of God move in this house, in your life, and around this community and throughout this city. And I believe we'll exalt God, amen, and give him all the praise. I believe, amen, that as we exalt him, he'll grip us, amen, for the saints of God. And not only that, but he'll give us a mighty move of God that when we move in the evangelism field, amen, reaching those that are lost, reaching those, amen, in these outside these walls in the community, I believe God will get to glory. Because we understand here at the Potter's House, amen, that our philosophy in Christ Jesus and in this ministry is that everything starts with God. Can you say amen? Everything we do here, amen, these 52 days of restoration, everything we do going into this new season, amen, it starts with God. We understand that the God, the guide, the Bible is our guide. So we depend on the word of God tonight to reach those that have gathered, those that would hear, those that would receive. And throughout these 52 days of restoration, as we pray and seek the face of God, as we fast, amen, and we pray that those of you that are looking to fast with us and believe God with us, that we stay the course. What does that mean? Stay with Jesus, glory to God. Our focus will always be people and not program. We believe that our environment is corporate and not individual. And so tonight we've gathered as a corporate body of Christ to kick off this 52 days of restoration, expecting a mighty move of God in unprecedented time. And I believe and I hear the Spirit of the Lord saying, why not us in Jesus' name? We're going to give God glory. We're going to bless his name. And we're going to exalt him. Amen. That he'll win souls. Amen. And that he'll draw whoever he draws. Amen. And when they come to the house of God, glory to God, we'll love them. We'll embrace them. We'll keep them up, hold them up. And we'll let them know, amen, that welcome to the house of God. We're on a journey to see the face of God. Somebody put your hands together as we glorify him tonight. As we exalt him tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're believing God to restore, refresh, and rebuild tonight. We're believing God, amen, to move only as he's able to move. That somebody will be refreshed in the spirit of the Lord throughout these 52 days of restoration. We invite you, amen, to come out each and every time we meet. We'll meet tonight, tomorrow on the 2nd. We'll meet down at 4 o'clock p.m. on Courthouse Square as we uh, will be uh, uh, joining Declare Dayton as we march from Courthouse Square over to the Levitt, uh, Le Levitt uh, Pavilion right there at uh, Main and 5th 
And we're going to have a worship service, amen, in the park, downtown Dayton, tomorrow. And we invite all of the family of God to come out and be with us. That will be our second day of our 52 days of restoration. Those of you that have your, your My Colors Red t-shirts, we're inviting you to wear that tomorrow as we represent the Potter's House Dayton International Ministry. If you don't have a My Color Red t-shirt, we ask you to wear something red and white. Amen. That we might just glorify God tomorrow and each time we meet. And then uh, um, when the next service will be on Wednesday night, Wednesday night, Friday night, and then Sunday night. And for the rest of the month, it'll be Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So we pray that you'll come out and come out expecting to hear from God. Can you say amen? Say somebody say expecting to hear from God. I don't know what you come here for, amen, but we come expecting to hear from the Lord tonight. We come expecting, amen, to have God speak to us and to pour into our lives in the blessed name of Jesus. I'm going to ask Elder Craig to lead us in one more song tonight. And the very next voice that you hear would be that of our friend, our brother in Christ, Minister Willie Taylor. Amen. Put your hands together. Let's give God praise. Father God, we thank you. We love you. We honor you. We bless you tonight. And we pray, Father God, that you be glorified in everything that we say and do. That you will allow your spirit to cover these next 52 days, Lord God, as we come together as a body of Christ, as we exalt your name and lift you up. We pray that you be glorified. You would draw men and women to you, Lord God. That your name will be lifted high. And that will bring you glory. We thank you for those that have gathered here in the house tonight. Those that are watching online tonight. We thank you for each and every one. We just pray a mighty move of God in each and every heart, each and every life. That whatever the families are in need of, Lord God, we pray they'll know that you are the source and our resource that all good things come from God we thank you for being our perfect gift we thank you for being our way maker we thank you for being our heart regulator a mind fixer we thank you for being the great I am we thank you Lord God for reminding us that without you we can do nothing so have your way tonight you be glorified. And Father, we'll give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. Because it's all due your name. In Jesus' name we pray. The people of God said amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
whatever, whatever I need to get to you, to get to you. I'll do. Come on, lift your voice to Him. Hey, I need. me to tell you our future is bright <laughs> huh hey we got a bright future hey huh get on board <laughs> yeah uh-uh uh-uh all that depression all that gloom no no nah. not in god's house we're gonna shake that off we got a bright future look at who our god is 
we have to for God do miraculous miraculous I mean exceedingly abundantly you, you hear me what's the thing what's the thing a miraculous move of God in an unprecedented time a miraculous move of God miraculous move of God Come on. in a time that things have not been seen or done before unprecedented mm. unprecedented a miraculous move of God but I read my Bible right and then my Bible tells me that there's nothing new under the sun. So whatever is going on right now, it didn't catch God off guard. God ain't nervous about what's going on, about the pandemic, about the recession. It ain't new to God. See, because if it was new to God, that means God had to go back to school and go learn up on some things to see how to handle this situation. God is all-knowing all powerful all wide so so it may be new to us it may be unfamiliar to us but god you know the end of a thing from the beginning you hear what i'm saying before this thing even took place he knew how it was going to end we serve a miraculous god uh, an awesome god if you read the Bible, if we read the Bible, I know you do. If we part of the house. Everything in here is, is, is hard to believe. I, I mean, a fish will swallow up a person? I, I mean, the dead rise again? I mean, Sarah, 90 plus years having a baby? I, I mean, a, 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 a virgin getting impregnated? I mean, you believe that? You base your faith on that? But when something come in your life, you, you, you wear it, you scared? When, when you get a diagnosis, you, you, you're nervous? I mean, it's the same God that rose Lazarus. I mean, Lazarus was dead on arrival. He been staking for four days now. See? Beyond repair, beyond any doctors, beyond any but God the resurrection of life he said Martha relax Mary. it's okay I'm a God beyond I can do anything I am life he is eternal life we, we get nervous when things come our way when the bills are due the kids rebel I got him. I'm just talking right now. I'm just, that's not the sermon. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just trying to feel the crowd. I'm, I'm trying to see is, 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 do you believe what you read? Or are you just reading just to be reading it? Because en en enough of the lip service. Right? Enough of it. me uh let me pray right quick father god i thank you i thank you for the part of the house i thank you for my family thank you for what you are doing what you will do lord this is a this is a good day this is a good time to be alive father god we're about to experience you we want you to draw us closer to you father god we want you to break chain shackled Misery, Father God, we, we, Satan, we serve you. Notice you, you cannot have our families, our cities. We, you are rebuked. You are defeated. We claim victory right now in the name of Jesus. Have your way with this sermon, Father God. In this hour, Father, be glorified. We need you, Lord. 
I can do nothing without you, Father God, for without you, I am nothing. Have me behind the cross, Father God. Speak, speak to your people. Give them strength. Give them hope. We knew they thirst for you, Father God. They passion for you, Father God. We'd be careful to get you to praise. Hallelujah to your name, Father. Hallelujah to your name, Father God. In Jesus' name, I pray and I thank you. Amen. Brother said, my name is Brother Willie. Uh, I'm on Reverend Mark for 10, 11 years. And uh, so he know I'm not traditional. Uh, I do want to piggyback on what he was talking about. Real glasses now. We're going to go to Malachi chapter 3. Uh, our, our, our God ain't big enough. Malachi 3 a and he said, Will a man rob God? That's a question mark. The answer is yes. Yes, a, a man will rob God. Because we're still in love with the world. A man will love, rob God if God is not his Lord. A man will rob God when he's still trying to live a double life. When he's not completely surrendered. The Bible call that double mindedness, double standard, double living. You understand? Not completely surrendered. And that's what God is saying. We, we, we got to get real with Him. A, 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 enough of living in the world, trying to live our best life. And giving God the leftovers, the crumb. You know what I'm saying? James says it like this. Turn with me to James chapter 4. Yeah, I got your Bible. James chapter 4. Here it works. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. All of James 4. Read this. Where do we war and fight come from among you? Talking to the church, Jesus' brother. Do they not come from your desires for pleasure? That war in your members? You lust and do not have you murder and covet and cannot obtain. You fight and war. Yet you do not have because you do not add. You add and you do not receive. God says, ask and it shall be given, right? Seek, you shall find. Knock and the door will be answered. Tell us this. Then he says this. Because when you're asking God, your heart's not right. Your motive's not right. Your spirit not right. God will not bless you when you're not right. Because that means God will be co-signing in your sins. God will be saying okay with your mess. And God isn't okay with your mess. 
He isn't okay with the sin. He isn't, he isn't okay with you being a hypocrite. With me being a hypocrite. Trying to get the best out of both worlds. Don't know if we're a Christian or a pimp. Don't know if we're holy or a hoe. We, 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 we double lives here. We, we, we do, we do, so, 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 so now we, we think we can come to church and, and, and ask God for something. And he says, no. Your heart ain't right. Your, your motive's not right. You, you're not right. I mean, I'm not saying it. This, this is what God said. And, and this is what he says. Don't think that you will receive anything. Because when you ask, you're not right. Your heart's not right. Because you want it that you may spend it on your pleasures. He called that you adulterers. You adulterers. Do you not know that friendship with the world is enemy with God? Enemy to God? You can't love the world and love God. You're a spiritual cheat. You're cheating on God. You, you're robbing God. Yeah. Like I said, and the question is, will, will a man rob God? Yeah, he'll rob God. Because if we will rob our church, our pastor, a man who we do see every day, and we know what he does for us, you will rob a guy that you don't see. God, uh, I mean, hey, God, yeah, I mean, hey, look. We don't tithe. We don't pay the pastor. He better not ask for, 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 for a raise or a promotion. You see, see, if we'll keep the man of God hungry, if we'll rob the, the, the house of God, God ain't got nothing coming. Yes, a man will rob God when his heart's not right. Am I right about it? I mean, I mean, that's what the Bible say. That's the Bible. We got to get right. See, 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 because here's the deal. A man will rob God because God really ain't his God. Money his God. He, he's going to serve the God of money. You, you hear what I'm saying? Because money, you got security. Gives you pleasure. Fame. Popularity. Everything that God promises, that's what money does. And plus, you, you can see money, so, so it's really in money we trust. Not, not, not really in God. But, but <clears throat> let me tell you this. Let me, let me, let me go to uh, Psalm 50, right? Psalm 50. I'm sorry that I didn't give you the scriptures. Like I said, this is my first time, and I'm trying to... Uh, been, it's been a while. It's been a while. Yeah. <clears throat> like I say, it's not that God wants your money. It's not that God needs your money. Yeah. Psalm 50, uh, verse 10. It's like this. For every beast of the forest is mine. And the cattle on a thousand hills, <laughs> they mine too. <laughs> I know all the birds of the mountain and the wild beasts of the field are mine. You see, see the earth is the Lord in the fullness thereof. Uh, I mean, I mean, God made it all. You know what I'm saying? The cattle, the mountains, if I were hungry, I would not tell you. For the world is mine and all its fullness. You see, you see that? God owns it all. God controls it all. So when God says, will a man rob me? Yeah, you rob me. But, but what God wants you to do is to test him, is to try him. Because if he just said, if he owns it all, he made it all. He want us to trust him. See, 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 see when you get to God, I, I know a lot of y'all say, I, I can't get to God because, because my rent is due and my bills due, my insurance is due. But when we give to God, 
It's a chance for us to see God come through for us. You hear what I'm saying? It's a chance for us to see how God is going to work this thing out and not you. See, because right now we got a plan A, we got a plan B. We're going to depend on mom, dad, this, that, and the other. And God's like, no, give to me and let me show you. It's a win-win situation right here. But like I say, God don't need anything. He, he got it all. Everything is his. But he wants us to grow closer to him. He wants us to trust him so you can see how he's going to work it out. <clears throat> That's one thing about God is he doesn't have a budget. <laughs> he's not limited. I mean, it, I mean, God just don't have one way of doing something. You hear me? If this door closed, that window shut, God said, my ways are unsearchable. It's unfathomable. I mean, my foolishness, your foolishness is wiser than any man's. I, I got more avenues of blessing you. I could bless you through this, that, or the other. I don't need anything. But see, but, 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 but we limit God. We put him in a box. And like he, like, you know, and, and he can't move like that. It, it, you, you hurt yourself I'm just trying to encourage you God is big, God is mighty God is all you need if you say give, give if you say I got you, I got you but we got to get real with it we got to trust him stop, stop playing church test him and try him and see see if he'll come through is the Lord your shepherd or not this is a gut check time. It's a gut check. Come on, let's stop going through the emotion. Let's, let's make it real. But God is real. You hear me? <clears throat> Psalms 112. Just do a little Bible. Psalms 112. I just want to talk about the goodness of God. I mean, God is important. He's not trying to make you poor. And, and he's, he's, he's not begging you for anything. He's just trying to get you up, motivate you, grow in faith, grow from faith to faith. You hear what I'm saying? Grow from faith to faith. Stop being so comfortable, so stagnant, like, you know what? Jesus walked in a lot of town, but he couldn't do nothing because of what? Of the unbelief, of the doubt. He said, I can't do nothing here. You're too stiff. You're too naive. You're too churched. Where's the faith at? Where's the faith at? Test me. Try me and see what he'll do. Psalms 112. Read is this. Praise the Lord. Blessed is the man fears the Lord who delights greatly in his commandments that the sinners will be mighty on earth the generation of the upright will be blessed it is right wealth and riches will be in his house wealth and riches will be in his house the wealth and riches is, is no problem to God you don't have no problem blessing you you don't have no problem giving you a blessing that you won't have room enough to receive it. But the fear is this. The concern is this. Once God bring that 2.5 million, once God bring that husband, once God bring that Cadillac, once God bring that house, once God heal that body, you're going to stop coming to church. You're going to stop blessing God. So, so, so really, all you really want is what God can give you. You just going to follow God as long as he got the money. Bring the wealth, bring the riches. But don't nobody really want God. Don't nobody really desire him. Don't nobody really want to fear him. The gut check. The gut check. Will you too lead me, disciples? Yeah, disciples. Once I'm done feeding you, once I'm done working miracles, we have to delight ourselves in the Lord. And then he gives us the desires of our heart. God, he's not slack. He's not trying to hold back on us. Why we think God is so stingy? Ask Adam and Eve. 
You can get whatever you want. All this is yours. I'm not holding out on you. But what Satan said? But this one. You know, once you eat this one, like, 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 ah. I gave you all this. All this is yours. You can't, you can't give God nothing for real. But some brokenness, a contrite heart, a contrite spirit, that's what God honors. That's what he wants. He wants you. Because if he had you, he had your pocketbook. Once he got you, he got your wallet. You hear me? Soon as trouble come, soon as trouble come, he the first name we call. Mark 4. When they're in the boat. Jesus and his disciples in the boat. Mark 4, 35. As long as the sea was calm, the ship was sailing, everybody cool. Jesus in the boat downstairs sleep. I was wondering, like, you know, because I'm got a little imagination to work with me. So they in the boat. They going. Twelve disciples, right? So they probably click. They probably got two over here, two over there. You know what I'm saying? They, you know, Republicans over here, the Democrats over there. You know, they, they, they know how the, the church is. We, we, we clicked up. You know, isms and schisms and stuff. And it was like, they, they probably wasn't really missing Jesus. That's why he was asleep. They probably really wasn't talking to Jesus. That's why he was asleep. There was, because everything was going good. We don't really need to talk to Jesus. It wasn't no need to have Jesus in, the, in, in their face. They okay because the sea was smooth. The boat was big. The wind was calm. You know, they was comfortable. They had the job. They got a, a bank account. They got clothes. They, they, there was food in the house. The kids were doing okay. There really was no need to, to really engage with Jesus, to, to rub Jesus' feet. That's why he was asleep. They ain't paying Jesus no attention. And just like us. But when that storm came, when that trouble came, when that water started getting in the boat, broke all that little stuff up. Now they more Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Use that job. That 401k disappear. That health is failing. That you know, like the, you know, the doctor said, uh, it ain't looking good. The repo man is outside. The kids are doing their own thing. Then we're going to go wake up Jesus. Somebody go get Jesus. But before, you know, you know, you know how we do. We okay. We got this. Jesus who? That is first name or his last name. He, he, he they ain't really studying Jesus. You hear me? But suddenly, see, see, suddenly, that water started coming. It woke Jesus up. Woke him up. That's just like us. But the audacity to ask Jesus, don't you care that we perish? Huh? Where were you just 10 minutes ago? Don't you care I was just down here sleep doing nothing all by myself? Do you care if I perish? That was the question. So, so we're going to question God, say, do you care about us? See, when trouble comes, we always say, God, you don't care about us. When a situation comes, we say, God, you don't care about us. We're going to accuse God of not caring. When he so loved the world, he gave his son to us. When we were without strength, when we wasn't loving him, when we wasn't thinking about him, he died on the cross for us. And we're going to ask God, do you not care about us? He's here for us. God, do you not care that we perish? Are oh, you a little faith? Do I not care? 
got a time out for playing church. Time out. If he's your Lord, let him be your Lord. No more in the middle. Be in and be out. You know what I'm saying? Give God your best and don't give him what's left. You know what I'm saying? Remember, number one, you love God with all your heart. Have no other God. Money, career, children, health, whatever your idol is. Whatever you put before God, you are being an adulterer. That's why you double minded. And that will the man is unstable in all his ways. Nothing you do is going to succeed until you get sold out for Christ. We need to be sold out for Christ. Because if we want this thing to come through, we want this breakthrough, we want this move of God, we want this fresh start, we want this millions of dollars, we want this health, we want this, that, and the other. It's something we got to give God. Complete surrender. Total commitment. Man. Everybody not happy. It's not a, a happy. Story. Sorry, I think that's around the corner at church. So, man, God can do the miraculous. He's still doing the miraculous. Read your Bible. Bible will tell you. Huh? Okay, I'll tell you a story. One King eighteen, First King chapter eighteen. I'll tell you what God can do. First King 18. Yes, this is. So this is us. So Ahab sent for all the children. Verse verse 20. Chapter 8. Verse, this, this is the test. Elijah. Y'all know who Elijah is. Elijah is the one who prayed and what rain. Three and a half years. Elijah is the one that <clears throat> took up glory. Elijah was God's man. The children of Israel undecided. They, they, they were, as the Bible said, that they, they had, they were stuck between two opinions. You know, they, 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 <clears throat> let me read the story to you. Verse 21. And Elijah came to the people and said, How long? Will you falter between two opinions? If the Lord is God, follow him. But if Baal, Belial, follow him. But the people answered him, not a word. Then Elijah said to the people, I alone am left, a prophet of the Lord. A Baal prophets are 450 men. Therefore, let them give us two bulls and let them choose one bull for themselves. Cut it in pieces and lay it on the wood. But put no fire under it. I will prepare the other bull and lay it on the wood. But put no fire under it. Then you, then you call on the name of, of your God and I will call on the name of the Lord. And the God who answers by fire, he is God. The God that answers, it's time to settle this double-minded stuff. It's time to settle this, where you at? I need to know where you at, gut check. The pastor said the other day, it's over 800 members that belong to the Potter House. But today we, we hard pressed to get 80. On a good day. See, see, if the part of the house be your church, say that. But if the streets, you belong to the streets, say that. But now is the time to set the record straight. So whatever God answers by fire, that's the true God. You understand what I'm saying? It, it, it's time. 
to get it straight. It's time to make your claim. Today. Today is the decision day. Today. Tar, I'm tired of the mixed messages. I'm tired of being confused. I'm, I'm, today. Is it your shepherd or not? You're going to do it your way or you're going to do it his way? Today. Let's get it right. Let's get it together. And today is today. But, 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 but here we go. Here we go. So all the people answered and said, it is well spoken. So they agreed to it. Okay, do that. Get you a bull, get him a bull. With that fire, decide this thing. Choose one bull for yourselves and then prepare it first. So, so like, for you are many and call on the name of your God. But put no fire under, right? So they took the bull, which was given them, and they prepared it. And call on the name of Baal from morning, even until noon, saying, Oh, Baal, hear us. But there is no voice. This is the 450 prophets calling out to their God, to their Savior, to their Rescuer. But there was no voice. No one answered. Then they leaped about the altars, spitting and carrying on, which they had made. You know, maybe we Maybe he can't hear it. Maybe, 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 you know, he's there. And so it was at noon that Elijah mocked them and said, cry aloud. <laughs> For he's, is he a God? Either he is meditating or he is busy using the restroom, right? Or he is on a journey. Or perhaps he is sleeping and must be awakened. <laughs> so Elijah making fun of him. Hey. We started this thing in the morning. Now it's noon. God ain't answered yet. See, in my Bible tell me my God is a very present help in the time of need. My God tells me uh, he will never leave me nor forsake me. You, you, you hear what I'm saying? So, so all this spitting and carrying on and, and that's the wrong God for mine. So anyway, so, so Elijah and Margaret, so, so they cried aloud and they cut themselves as was their custom with knives and lances until the blood gushed out of them and when, and when midday was passed they prophesied until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice but there was no voice no one answered no one paid attention And I'm, I'm mad because the people was confused. The people were stuck between two opinions, whether they were going to serve a God who doesn't answer, who doesn't show up, or the God of their forefathers who delivered them from Pharaoh, who split the Red Sea, who got rid of their enemy, the Hittites, the Pesites, the Hittites, and all that. But how soon do we forget? Okay. Then Elijah said to all the people, come near to me. So all the people came near to him and repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. And Elijah took 12 stones according to the number of tribes of the sons of Jacob to whom the word of the Lord had come, saying, Israel shall be your name. Then with the stones he built an altar in the name of the Lord and he made a trench around the altar, large enough to hold two sheaves of seed. And he put the wood on it under, cut the bull in pieces, and laid it on the wood. He said, fill four water pots with water and pour it on the burnt sacrifice and on the wood. Then he said, do it a second time. And then they did it a second time. And, and he said, do it a third time. And they did it a third time. So the water ran all around the altar. And he also filled the trench with water. I wasn't in a Boy Scout. But it's hard trying to put fire on some wet wood. I, I, I mean, wet wood, I mean, it's, it's drenched, it, 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 it's ruined. But, but see, but the wood is that situation that you're dealing with in your life. 
that you think that can't get better, that, that is ruined, is, is over, there's no hope, ain't no way that God could, could, could use this again or use me again or bring this back to life. See, see that will represent something that is, is messed up in your life. Something that, that, that you need some fire on. See, 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 and, and that's what God does. He don't care how, how long it's been messed up or, or, or what the situation is or the condition of it is. Bring it to him. Bring it to him. And watch him work a miracle in that. So, so, so the wood is, is good and wet. And it came to pass at the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice that Elijah the prophet came near and said, Lord, God of Abraham, Isaac, and of Israel, let it be known this day that you are God in Israel, and I am your servant, that I have done all these things at your word. Hear me. Hear, O oh Lord. Hear me, that this people may know that you are the Lord God and that you have turned their heart back to you again. Then the fire of the Lord fell, consumed and burnt sacrifice in the wood and the stones and the dust. And it licked up the water that was in the trench. Now when all the people saw it, it fell on their faces and they said, the Lord, he is God. Lord, he is God. So I ask you to give God the same test that Elijah did. Put your hand on that thing that you want God to resurrect, that you want God to bring some life to. And see what he do it. He said, test me and see if I won't give you a blessing. Test God in that area of your, of your wet wood life. Whatever's wet in your life, test God and see won't he bring a fire to you. Because he can do it. Because he, He's a miracle worker. He's a way maker. He's good. All the time he's good. So, so my word today is this. I'm trying to prime the pump. Keep going. God got us. God got us. But we have to make our mind up. No more in the middle. No more double-mindedness. No more in and out. If he's, be, if he's your God, let him be your God. Do it all. Ain't going to God. Trust in God. But like I say, he don't need your money. The cattle in the thousand hills is his. He gives riches. He gives promotion. But he wants you. And he wants you to want him and not the things that he could do for you. He wants you to love him and not his gifts. He's going to give you that anyway. It comes with the territory. And that's my time today. And I uh, thank you, Pastor, for uh, the opportunity. But if there's anybody who, uh, who want to make that decision, if y'all been vacillating, going back and forth, if you want to make that commitment, if you want to make that stand between you and God, now is the time because right now, he can't bless you. When you bless the both worlds. You, you, you're here and there. Make a stand for God and watch you work a miracle in your life. And that's my prayer. Yes, Amen. 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 Come on, put your hands together, family of God, for the man of God. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Glory to God. My Lord. What a word, what a word, what a blessed word from the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. How many of you are blessed by the word of God tonight? Amen. Bless the name of the Lord. God bless you. Brother Willie, Minister Willie Taylor, amen. Yes, sir, he, he put the glasses, the sunglasses on, and I know folks thought he about ready, you know, <laughs> pimp that at somebody. He said, the Lord said that our future is bright. I don't know about you, how many of you see a bright future tonight? Come on, Holy Ghost. Bright future in the Lord. God bless you, man of God. We thank God for you, sir. Amen. What a kickoff. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic, amen, because of the goodness of the Lord. Uh, no longer, uh, you know, you, we, we were just talking about in the elders meeting, amen. God is, God, we were just talking about that this morning. God is saying it's time out for lip service. 
It's, it's time to put up or shut up. Come on, Holy Ghost. <laughs> it's time. Amen. It's about kingdom tonight. Come on, Holy Ghost. It's about kingdom. And God is saying, Amen. We is no longer can we be all it between two opinions. In Jesus' name. We thank God for that word tonight, man of God. Amen. Will a man rob God? Glory to God. Lord have mercy, Jesus. We rob him all time. Amen. But no more. We received the word. We heard the word. We received the word. Now, amen, is our time. Amen. Bless the Lord tonight. And allow that word, amen, to resonate in your heart and in your spirit tonight. What a powerful word, man of God. Thank God for you, sir. What a powerful word. Amen. One more time, put your hands together for the man of God tonight. God bless you, sir. Hallelujah. It's giving time. We're going to give unto the Lord. We're going to bless the name of the Lord. And uh, not only are we going to bless him financially, but we're going to bless him spiritually in our life and in our heart. Amen. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to rise to the occasion tonight uh, to be and do all that God has called us to be and all that he's called us to do. Somebody's life is in the balance. And I believe, amen, what the shirt says, uh, 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 those of you who don't have your choose the life, choose the live shirt, amen, you don't want to see Minister Riley, amen. See Minister Riley, amen, we'll get you a choose, choose the live shirt. And that's what, that's what we're talking about tonight. We're going to choose to live for God and do it God's way. We're going to choose, amen, to call on the God of the, the, the consuming fire. The very thing that he delivered, the very thing that the enemy thought, uh, Minister, 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 Minister Taylor, the very thing that the enemy thought when he threw Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the fire, the very thing that he thought was going to kill him was the very thing God used to deliver him. Come on, Holy Ghost. The fire of God will deliver us, amen. It'll, it'll burn up, soak up all the water, glory to God. He'll deliver us and purify us and set us free, glory to God. The fire of God. I don't know about y'all, but I'm about, I'm about ready to run again. <laughs> glory to God. Hallelujah. This is, man, this is awesome. Man, praise God for the word of God. The very thing that the enemy thought was going to destroy you, God will turn it. He said, what you meant for evil, God will turn it for good. Hallelujah. And so tonight, we want to bless the name of the Lord for the word of God. We want to bless the name of the Lord. Listen, God, listen. Somebody, somebody asked me, so, Pastor Moss, why are you doing it that way? Why you, why you got this person, that person, why are you doing it? I said, that's what the Lord told me to do. Now we know why he was first. Come on, Holy Ghost. God knows what he's doing. And all we got to do is follow him. All we got to do is say yes to his will. And God going to show up. And when he shows up, he shows out in your life. And I'm just excited. I'm amazed at what God is doing. I believe that there is a miraculous move of God happening in your life right now. I believe God is doing some things. You may not even see it. But he's doing it. He's working some things out. Amen. God working it out. God bless your family. God, those watching online tonight. We're going to ask those of you that are in the house, I mean, uh, the altar is always open, amen. Uh, you feel free to come to the altar. But we're going to invite you to come and give your tithes and your offerings tonight, whatever the, the Spirit of the Lord has placed on your heart. And I'm going to ask you, amen, if the Spirit of the Lord has blessed you tonight, amen, uh, uh, go by and shake the man of God's hand, amen, and bless the man of God, amen, for what God spoke out of him, out of his belly tonight. And let him know how much we appreciate the word of God tonight. Amen. Won't you come? Uh, 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 come on around. Those of you that want to come and give put the baskets here. Amen. We're going to bless the name of the Lord. And we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna have a good time. Now, also, we want to remind you on tomorrow at 4 o'clock down at Courthouse Square. We're going to have the church van here. So those that may want to want to leave your car here and ride in the van. Amen. We're riding the church van. God bless you, Dr. Bear. We're riding the church van. Amen. And uh, down to the courthouse square, and we're looking to just have a wonderful time in the Lord tomorrow. Amen. Uh, and thank God for tonight. Thank God for our kickoff tonight. God bless you, Sister Iris.
Mama Pass, the elder, we thank God for you, sir. Bless you. Hallelujah. And we're going to have a good time on tomorrow night. Uh, we are second, our second day of restoration of the 52 days. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for our media team for getting those scriptures up. Uh, we thank God for that. And we thank God for all of you for coming out tonight. Hallelujah. One more time. Can you put your hands together for Jesus Christ tonight? Hallelujah. We want you to go in peace. Amen. Go with God. Hallelujah. And we're until we're able to meet again, we look forward to seeing you again in Jesus' name. We love you and we thank God for you. Amen. Be blessed in the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Takes one single visit from you and my life has been shifted. So thankful, so thankful for favor.